Well, we warned them, and here's the aftermath. Hello. We did try to warn him, didn't we? Hey, it's Comic Artist Pro Secrets. You're listening to Ethan Van Skyver, a 25-year veteran of the comic book industry, creator of Cyber Frog Blood Honey, the smash hit Indiegogo campaign for a comic book. It's in its second month of funding. It's doing amazingly. If you'd like to buy a copy of this Chromium-enhanced autographed uh, comic book, then the link is in the description below, and I think you should. Uh, I am also the illustrator of Jordan B. Peterson's 12 Rules for Life. Just had a nice couple of emails with him, and it looks like we're going to have some news for you uh pretty soon about something kind of exciting uh and i am also a great big star wars fan which is why today i sit on a stoop head bowed with mickey mouse single tear rolling down my cheek uh i i I breathe a deep heaving sigh with goofy i guess uh i feel um some depression with with daisy duck what other disney characters are there the classic ones not the disney xd you know what i'm not no 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 and that Funicello, yeah, she's no longer with us. Tommy, Tommy Kirk is still around. Uh, yeah, I uh, pee myself in agony with Tommy Kirk uh, over this, over this terrible news. I guess uh, Disney quarter three, third quarter earnings uh, outlook dims. On Soylo, a Soy Wars story, mergers and acquisitions, uncertainty. Okay, so that is a uh, quote, quote unquote, uncertainty from an analyst. An analyst lets us know, and that analyst is Day-Day Hayes. Is it Day-Day Hayes? I don't really know. Uh, Disney should report a profitable uh, fiscal third quarter uh, in uh, a few weeks' time. Powered by its media networks like Disney XD. God, I, you know, ever since I had... I've got, well, I've got an 11-year-old in the house, and she watches Disney XD. It is the worst thing ever. I, I can't... It's a bunch of young Logan Pauls running around uh, trying to be funny. Oh, so random humor. It, it's got to stop. It's absolutely got to stop, and I, I can't say, I guess it's for kids. I, I guess it's for kids, but I'm starting to realize, uh, you know, I am uh, that old man saying, get off my lawn with these kids. Get out of here. Stop having so much self-esteem. Uh, yeah, uh, but also their theme parks. Theme parks are good. I'm going to go, I'd like to go to Disney World with, uh, uh, you know, Jeff from World Class, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, get the high council, run around, cause mischief, go on all the rides, and just enjoy. Um the last remaining profitable Disney venture. Until that is, uh, they... Um, well, I mean, look, th- eventually this is all going to bleed over into uh, uh, into the Disney parks, isn't it? I mean, eventually people are going to be picturing um, Pablo Hidalgo uh, when they go to Disney World, and, and they're all just going to vomit on their families as they're entering into the park. They'll throw up all over themselves, all over the stroller uh, with their child in it. Uh, all over their significant other, all over their kids. Uh, that's This is the problem. This is the problem with having the Lucasfilm story group be associated with Disney. These people are monsters. These people are very silly, uh, and they uh, drag everything down with them. And, and that's what we're going to see here. It predicts Wall Street analyst uh, Stephen Cahill of RBC Capital Markets, even so. The misfiring of the Star Wars spinoff, Soylo. Is that a link to porn? Is it? Somebody told me that MovieWeb, uh, which is a you know a website now that a, a news website, garbage tier news website that exists solely to troll this channel, uh, they have actually ha- uh, added porno pop-ups to their channel, uh, you know, just to troll us. We're not going back there. I'm not going to fall for it. These guys, magnificent job of trolling us. I I, I can't. I have to give you some credit, uh, but I am receiving reports that porno does pop up now when you're visiting the MovieWeb.com site. I'm not going to fall for it. I'm not going to fall for it. Kevin Berwick, B. Allen Orange, B. A. Orange. You're going to have to troll geeks and gamers. I, actually, that would be kind of funny. I would like to see Jeremy accidentally uh, stumble a, a, across some pop up pop up porn from uh, MovieWeb.com. Pop up porn. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm not going to click that link. Uh, the uncertainty surrounding its mergers and acquisition plans have prompted K. Hall uh, to lower his quarterly earnings estimates for the company. How do you like that? How do you like that? All because of Kathleen Kennedy. All because of Pablo Hidalgo. All because of, eh, to a lesser extent, Chuck Wendig. I, I like to blame Chuck Wendig for everything. I don't think Chuck Wendig has much to do with uh, much of anything. I think, you know, even uh, probably even his own life. 
uh, is uh, not within his control. Uh, so I, I don't think uh, I don't think Disney uh, has him to blame. But let's blame him anyway. Chuck Wendig. Let's blame Ryan Johnson for this. Uh, I think Ryan Johnson does have a lot to do uh, with the problems that we're uh, facing here. Um, yeah, uh, Cahill still uh, re rates Disney as his top pick in the media sector and retains a 12-month uh, price target of $135 a share, a healthy premium over its current level of about 104. So buy now, buy now. By now, and by the way, uh, what they're not taking into consideration is the fact that there's going to be a huge spike once Kathleen Kennedy is frog marched out of uh, Lucasfilm this September and hires a replacement. Probably going to be, you know, Dave Filoni. We think uh, a man in a cowboy hat. I trust a man in a cowboy hat. I trust him, especially when he's in L. Well, in L.A. Yeah, I think I do. I trust him even in L.A. It looks like Johnny Cash. That's cool. Uh, if he sounds like Roseanne Cash, that's it's different. But anyway, uh, even so, in a res research note today, he wrote that a likely uh, write-down of Soylo would outweigh favorable outlooks for media and theme parks. Oh, my gosh. Pablo Hidalgo is outweighing things. You don't say. Um, yeah, accordingly, Cahill has reduced his estimate of earnings per share by 4% due to Disney's trans transitional period. They're bleeding money. They're, they're, they're hemorrhaging cash. Because uh, of Kathleen Kennedy. Because of the bidding war with Comcast over 21st Century Fox assets, Disney will no longer be buying back $20 billion of its own stock anytime soon, as it had originally planned, K. Hall predicts. Now, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to institute a lot of controls. Uh, a, lot of new, a lot of new strategies. A lot of new uh, things I will implement. <clears throat> I, can't, I don't have $20 billion. So. Uh, the battle for Fox has erupted after nearly six months of calm. Last December, Fox had accepted Disney's $52.4 billion offer for the studio um, yeah, and network assets uh, and had rebuffed Comcast. Now, wait a second. If Disney buys Fox, does that mean that Fox is going to suddenly become Fox News? Is suddenly going to become MSNBC? Oh, my gosh, no. Oh, my gosh, no. That would be terrible. Uh, but they would have the X-Men. They would have the X-Men. They could add uh, the X-Men to the MCU, wouldn't they? What else? What other things? Uh, Deadpool? They could add all these things to the Avengers movie. That would be good. Let's add more things to the Avengers movie. We've got to. We've got to add more things to the Avengers movie. Well, let's add Wolverine. Let's add the Fantastic... We're not going to get the Fantastic Four. Let's add Wolverine, though, and the X-Men, and, and uh, Deadpool, and uh, all these other things, because Avengers 4 is going to be so soy-based, dude so soy based it's basically going to be like all the female heroes uh, uh all the new female heroes of the uh sjw marvel universe such as uh ms marvel kamala khan uh and then uh with the big hands i mean she's costume stupid and her hands grow so the sjw's don't know how to create characters they don't know how to make things they don't know how to make superheroes they don't know how to invent anything all they know how to do is ruin uh, what somebody else invented. Kamala Khan, uh, uh, Carl Manvers, case in point, character that existed before SJWs, ruined by SJWs. Uh, Squirrel Girl, probably, they're going to use her. Let's introduce all these characters that have basically tanked your comic book company and put them in the movie. Hey, that sounds good. Sounds like a good idea. Maybe the movies will straighten it out. Maybe the problem is that the characters just... It, we'll, we'll, we'll do it the other way around. It's not that everyone loved Spider-Man in the comic books and then, of course, that love translated. He's just a great character. Of course, you put him in the movies. They love him in the movies too but maybe people just need to see these characters on the silver screen and that's going to fix them in the comic books uh, they're not just widely reviled or just completely ignored in the comics um, because uh, they're terrible characters it's because people just need to see them talking we just need to see SJWs talking in order to love them uh, the battle for Fox had erupted after nearly six months of calm Last December, Fox had accepted Disney's $52.4 billion offer for the studio and network assets and rebuffed Comcast. They cucked Comcast. They're cuck cast, prompting the entire industry to prepare for a Disney Fox future. Get ready. Here it comes. Uh, in June, uh, though, after AT&T was given the green light to buy Time Warner by a federal judge, Comcast came back aggressively with a counteroffer. That led Disney to raise its offer to the current level of $38 per share, or $71.3 billion. The uh, K Hall expects the brawl to continue, uh, and that will have implications for Disney's financial state. Uh, the ball is now in Com uh, Comcast court to respond to Disney's offer, which benefits from being 50% stock so as to lessen the balance sheet strain, K Hall writes. 
because the Department of Justice required Disney to agree to divest Fox's regional sports networks in order to gain approval for the deal. Uh, the projected $20 billion to $25 billion value of the RSNs give uh, Disney some maneuverability in Cahill's view. Uh, the component suggests Disney can even afford to pay even more for Fox. Well, don't, 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 you know. Uh, because Comcast is doing some calculations, Cahill added, we wouldn't be surprised to see Disney and Comcast bidding into the 40s per share, uh, meaning the $80 billion range. As such, we expect Disney to be somewhat range bound until the dust settles. What is the dust settle settling? <clears throat> the dust from what? The dust from what big explosion? And that, of course, obviously, uh, the, is, uh, the explosion is um, uh, Disney firing, jettisoning, jettisoning. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy and the ridiculous Lucasfilm story group, the inadequate uh, sabotage, saboteurs uh, in Lucasfilm right now, these SGW weirdos, get them out of here. They are incapable of making Star Wars movies. Do it now before Episode Nine uh, really gets underway. What are you waiting for? Uh, fire up that trebuchet uh, or um, uh, what other way? Yeah. Uh, put them on a rack and stretch them. What other me uh, medieval uh, means of torture? Uh, can we employ to get? Eh, we don't want. We don't want to torture them. We just want them out of here. And just you know, um, fire them from a trebuchet onto a into an oncoming train. Maybe I don't know. Just get them out of here, um, and that will help. That will definitely help uh, because this is embarrassing. Imagine you're being the cause of this. Imagine <laughs> it's like everything's great except for the one thing that you did, and that's ruining everything. Yeah, it's cause for firing. Uh, thanks everyone. See you again soon. Hey everyone, just want to thank you all for all of your continued and continual support of this channel. Uh, I do appreciate everything. I appreciate the Patreon backers. By the way, we're going to be putting up a new uh, Patreon backer crawl screen. I'm putting that together today uh, to thank everyone who donated to the Patreon for the month of July. Uh, so I'm going to get that up today. We'll have it for tomorrow's videos. Uh, thanks to everyone who has uh, supported Cyberfrog Blood Honey. That is just great uh the link is in the description below if you haven't yet uh t-shirts thank you for purchasing all of these great t-shirts at our poster our new uh this better not be porn t-shirt link is in the description below you got to wear one of those those are great um also uh thanks to everyone who comes to the live chats and uh donates to the super chat appreciate you guys very very much um click like on this video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't yet join our community join our little club uh, join our group. We, we love you. We want to have you with us. Thanks very much, guys, and we'll see you again soon. Show your friends you support independent comics while showing the world who you back in the fight against the swarm with the brand new Cyberfrog t-shirt from Crypto Fashion and Comic Artist Pro Secret. Sizes come in small to 5XL and take your choice of colors between navy blue, white, and black. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and order the Fandom Menace, Go Get Daddy's Belt, Tico, and Soilo t-shirts as well. Link is below in the description. You're going to look great. People love these shirts. They fit wonderfully. Thank you very much. Hello, potential Indiegogo backers. Hello, friends. My name is Ethan Van Skyver. I'm a comic book creator who worked for 20 years for Marvel and DC Comics on books like Green Lantern, Flash, Superman, Batman, and X-Men. But before that, I had a comic book called Cyberfrog. Now, Cyberfrog lasted from 1993 to 1998, and then it stopped when I went to go work for DC Comics. Now I want to tell the story of where Cyberfrog has been for the last 20 years. I want to write, pencil, ink a book called Cyberfrog Blood Honey that tells the story of gigantic alien hornets that come to Earth and conquer it, sending Cyberfrog into deep hibernation where he emerges now in the year 2018 into a completely alternate reality, a new world where these hornets have taken over, devastated humanity, using human skin to make gigantic wasp hives and harvesting human blood to make honey to feed their young very few humans still exist. But it's up to Cyberfrog to save what's left of humanity and turn back the damage that's been done by these wasps with his brother Salamandroid and his friend Heather Swain. I want you to help me do this. We're going to get colors by Kyle Ritter. He's a fantastic colorist and he's going to make this book sing. Uh, I'd like this to be a 48 page one shot prestige format part one of four. So I'm asking you to help me launch the very first Cyberfrog Blood Honey epic graphic novel. Are you in? Will you help me? I hope so. Let's get this frog jumping again. Hey, want to follow me on Twitter? Okay, cool. I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. Talk to you there.